All right, everyone, so I'm going to try this. And uh, this is a new um, um, app that I'm trying out. Kind of new to me, anyway. So let's see. Let's see how this works. Let me get you in a full screen. Okay, we are full screen. So here we go. Let's let's start with the reaction. I might sound like crap. It's either that or the distortion and crappy voice sound all together. Oops. <laughs> this thing came to party. It is not the margaritas. We just like ordered this for the table. Nobody would be like, where's the meat? Y'all got some vegan cheesecake? I'm reaching. Wait, that is a serious vegan pro tip. This is the top of the tier. What's up, everybody? I'm Merle, and today I am with my friend, vegan queen, Tabitha Brown. Hey, y'all. Today, we're going to be going to Panera. Yes. Then we're going to Cheesecake Factory. All right. And then we're going to PFJ. Ooh, ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They sound so fake. They sound like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that sounded like she did not sound excited so much. She just sounded like, eh. You know, I, I vegans lose that excitement, I've noticed. I did too when I was eating a heavy, heavy plant-based diet. Like, nothing was exciting. You know what's exciting to me? Bacon, eggs, all that. That's three different places yep. that are literally everywhere. Yeah. Do you think this is going to be hard? Uh-uh. No, I never really met a challenge I couldn't handle, especially uh -huh. not when it came to food. <laughs> as long as we go into it with a positive mindset, it's going to be good. A lot of the times, like, when I go out to eat with my friends, if they want to go to, like, one of these chain restaurants, sometimes I'm, like, worried, like, am I going to have to be that person that gets a salad? Right. I don't yeah. even like salad that much. Whenever we Who in their right mind actually does like salad? Like, seriously? Who likes salad? Anybody. I'm just checking something here. Um, I only have a certain amount of time to record, so. But who in their right mind likes salad? If you're if you're a normal person, you don't like salad. Sorry. We go to restaurants. I always have to, like, go into it with the mindset. I know I'm going to veganize something on the menu. Yeah. But then, you know, we the people that the waiter hate to see yeah. coming. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. You're not sorry. You are not sorry. You are not freaking sorry no vegan is ever truly sorry for like oh could you make this vegan please no you're not sorry yeah so sorry. sorry but i'd be like oh can i get that allergy menu because you know they got allergy menus <laughs> what think about this though what are most people allergic to the pasteurized milk yes maybe seafood what other allergies are there? The only other allergies I know of are vegan foods. Hmm. I wonder what those are. Oh, peanuts, soy, gluten. Hmm. Maybe egg whites is another animal one, but. Pfft. Oh, come on, people. Most restaurants have an allergy menu, so most of the times you can see what you can uh, have that's vegan. Wait, that is a serious vegan pro tip. <laughs> Honey, you see how you can just learn something today? Yeah. Yeah, very good. It's yes. been like five minutes. That, that could have You're changed welcome. the last yeah. year of my life drastically. <laughs> Great. I am very excited Matt, to see what the you have today. We're going to find some. something. You they sound so frustrated here. Like She's like, we're going to find something. And she goes, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Either you're super duper hungry or you've been looking for hours. Of course, you're not going to find anything. You can eat. Something I can eat and love. Come on, Panera. I'm counting on y'all. Hey, how are you? Good. Any questions so far? The 10 vegetable soup. Mm -hmm. Is that one vegan, though? That one actually is vegan. Yeah. So you nailed it. Yes, you did. First try. So the bread bowl is, is vegan? The bread bowl is vegan, yes. Throw it bread in the bowl? bread bowl, yeah. Sure. I think like a salad. So what about the modern Greek with quinoa? Is that one vegan? It is if you take the feta out. We'll split one of those. What about the Mediterranean veggie? The Mediterranean veggie also has feta on it. And then I believe there's honey in the bread. So no feta. And what bread do you have that doesn't have honey? The sourdough. Sourdough. And then ciabatta. Yeah, let's do ciabatta. Okay. It's 
Holy crap. Can you imagine? Like, if I was keto, which, I mean, I am. I am mostly keto, but I'm mostly, I'm, I'm, I'm carnivore, really. I'm leaning more towards carnivore. But if I was still keto, and even now that I'm carnivore, I'm not going to go to a restaurant and say, is this cooked in plant oils, though? Is that cooked in plant oils, though? Is the chicken um, firm, fresh? Is it, is this cooked in, no, I'm going to eat the chicken and leave the other crap alone. I might ask if the chicken is breaded because I will say I'm sensitive to gluten, but that's usually all I'm going to say, right? Um, I'm sensitive. I'm not intolerant, but I definitely would prefer not to have the gluten. This is ridiculous. Is this vegan? Is this vegan? Is this vegan? Is this vegan? Gosh, I bet you, I hope that chef did not, I hope that chef gave them cheese. Since we're not getting feta, is there any way we could sub like avocado or something? Or the waiter, I mean, waitress in this case. Thing in it? Yeah, I think we can do oh, that. Yeah, you know, making my day. You know I love some avocado. Yeah, I know oh, you do. Got the avocado ring on. Yes. You see that? It's for you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Okay. Perfect. Woo. Great. You guys are all set. We'll have that out to your table soon, okay? Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, girl. Bro, this looks so good. I am so hungry and excited right now. You're only hungry because you're malnourished. Mm. Oh, my God. That's good. The bread bowl is vegan. Can you believe that? That is exciting. Of course. I bet you, though, I have a funny feeling, though. I have a funny feeling that that bread is actually not vegan. Isn't there egg in bread? I could be wrong. We got bread. You can't do it without the bread bowl. Mm. Wow. I'm going to dip a little bit of this nut, too, though. You got to dip you're the bread. Obligated. I mean, why you get it if you're not going to dip it? I Come want on. That's the stuff. That's good. But can you see how good this looks right yeah, here? Yeah, bring child. that over here, would you? The all just calling me, child. They <laughs> call me. I want some of this tomato quinoa. Yeah, that looks amazing. And maybe I'll start ordering salads. I really never do. I think because I'm usually turned off by, I'm like, all right, it's like I'm going to be grazing on some, like, kale or some lettuce. But this has the kale and the lettuce for the health. Yeah. And then you've got the quinoa with the tomato. And that's protein. Protein. Hello. Mm-hmm. You see this avocado. Oh, I see it. I see it from a mile away. Oh, mm. oh my God. Mm. The avocado totally covers the cheese. Yeah, it gives you the cream. Covers the cheese. Like, is there actually still cheese in it? <gasps> uh oh. Could you imagine what would have happened if they actually discovered there was cheese still in this salad? Could you imagine? Oh my lord, the fit they would both be having. <laughs> That makes me laugh so much. I love when they flip out. I love it. I love it. Creaminess, like it is cheese. It will feel good after. <coughs> Absolutely. Oh, this is so good. Lord have mercy. All right, we are, we're feeling great, but let's go eat some more delicious food. All right, on to the next. On to the next one. Yeah, real genuine excitement here. All right, now we're going to go to Cheesecake Factory. Oh, Lord. You think they got vegan cheesecake? Look at this menu. Oh, look at that menu. <laughs> it's pages and pages. I know. Uh, They've got this guac and chips. Oh, you, you can't go wrong with guac and chips. No. I love some guacamole. Guacamole is not actually vegan, and I think there might be cheese in it. I could be wrong. In some forms of guacamole, maybe? Hmm. I don't know. Same. Yeah. So okay. I feel like all we'd have to do is just ask for like no sour cream, right? That's easy. Oh yeah. This salad actually has vegan in the title. And this thing is stacked. I could go for like a burger. They got a veggie burger. Okay, you know how I feel about veggie burgers. They gotta be right. They gotta be right. But they I also got an impossible right. burger. Oof. <laughs> Can we do both? I think so, but this one comes with cheese. So maybe we just talk to the waiter and okay. see. What can I get you? Chips and, guacamole, Chips and guacamole, but no sour cream. And then we got some burger questions. Yes. So the veggie burger. Yep, veggie burger. Can that be made vegan? Because I see it has like some cheese and some uh, garlic aioli on it. A hundred percent. Yeah. I love how he just paused. I think he's gonna. <laughs> I think he's gonna make it not vegan. Did you hear how you just paused there? I loved it. Percent, yes. We're gonna go ahead and substitute that for the vegan mayonnaise, the uh -huh. vegan cheese, and a vegan bun. You have vegan cheese. I think he's lying. 
I think he's trying to make them happy and act all excited and oh this is vegan this is vegan this is vegan we got vegan this we got vegan that he's in house yes we do shut your mouth <laughs> Ooh, honey, I might, I might kick up. Y'all got a couch over here. We probably, we probably gonna stay, stay after for a little bit. Ooh, oh, there we good. Come on, yeah. and the same thing for the Impossible yeah. Burger. The Impossible Burger, if I am correct, it is one hundred percent vegan. Honey, that sounds amazing. We can have vegan. No, cheese. we can have cheese, honey, because it's called Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Y'all got some vegan cheesecake? I'm reaching. Ooh, Just a little. Okay, I, I thought I would try it. <laughs> I dip, you dip, we dip. Yeah. All right. Mm. Yeah, of course you're gonna love chips. Who doesn't love chips? When I was eating my standard American crap diet, Tostitos and Doritos, Tostito flavored Doritos actually were my favorite chips. Like they were nacho Doritos or whatever the heck they were. They were my favorite ones and I'd get them every Halloween and those are my favorite ones. God, of course you're gonna love chips. Mm. Very good. Mm. All right, now we need to attempt this mountain of a cob salad. Now, how do we get a little bit? How are they eating salad after just having a salad at the other place? The everything on our plate. This is a strategy. All right, I think that underneath it all is some lettuce. See, oh, you, were right. Right. you were right. You were right. My spirit right. said, "Girl, it's, it's, it's greens under there." Oh my god, this is good, Jenny. Yes. What are those? I overheard. This is our refresher and ultimate margarita. <laughs> Wait a minute. Getting very, very malnourished and very uh, hypersensitive vegans. Drunk. Beautiful. This is enormous. This it's like is two huge cups. Now. Cheers. I thank you. Cheers. Enjoy. It's very good. Well, honey, it ain't nothing but agave. Fun fact is tequila is vegan. Wow. Ooh, <laughs> yes. That's, well, that's the stuff. That settles it. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we oh, go. Gosh, there's more. More stuff. Oh. We got our delicious impossible burger. Uh, and our delicious veggie burger. Ooh. Can you believe it? They actually went, I mean, it could have been lunch and then dinner, but could you imagine all of this eating, all of this? I mean, they probably didn't eat all of it, but could you imagine eating two salads in one day? My bowels would be screaming for help. Because they are. And ladies, in the meantime, is there anything else that I may bring over? I can't think of a thing. Honey, a pillow. You got a pillow on the bed? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, ooh, it's so ooh. pretty. Oh, my God. You see how soft the bread is? <laughs> see, see that right there? That, that right there lets you know it's soft look. right there. That's the price. If the bread is soft, I don't think it's vegan. Press test. Okay. Mmm. Mm. This thing came to party. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Party. Mm -hmm. mm. It is not the margaritas. It's so flavorful. As somebody who doesn't like veggie burgers, oh, I'm girl. very impressed. This is the Impossible Burger. The Impossible Burger looks so much like a burger. I actually like that you can see what's in the veggie burger. All right? Yeah. Uh-huh. That's like a classic burger. That takes me way back. Yeah. 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 This is amazing. That is really good. So like my family, we are a blended family, right? So my husband and my son are not vegan, but my daughters and I are. Mm -hmm. We can come here and we can all eat something, yeah. feel included, yeah. and everybody is happy and satisfied. Mm -hmm. Like, that's amazing. I love it. I love that these options are available. This gives me so much hope. Like, um, coming here and seeing not just... Their voices, both of them. I don't know if they were like that before they went vegan, but holy... Options, but not even afterthoughts. It's like every single one of these dishes has been delicious, and I Absolutely. feel like they put time and thought and consideration into them. I feel like... To friends of mine that are skeptical, I could confidently recommend them trying the Impossible Burger. Mm. Like, I think a lot of people would be like, mm -hmm. wow, this tastes just like a burger. All right, day two. Day two, girl. You brought your appetite today? <laughs> Honey, I'm always home. So I can always eat some. This is why we get along. Yes. All right, well, I think it's beautiful out, so I was thinking yes. maybe we get some to-go from P.F. Chang's. Ooh, P.F. Chang's, and I want some Chinese. And we just eat outside. Let's do it. Wow! Girl. Look at this. <laughs> Honey, when I say they say they had options. On variety scale, this is the top of the tier. We got some edamame. We got the Chinese eggplant. Which was already vegan. Which also looks kind of like meat. So it does. Like, and then we've got the spring rolls, also vegan already. Naturally vegan. And then what I'm the most excited for, which is these lettuce the wraps. lettuce wraps, yes. I used to eat these so often in college i went twice in one day one time and got takeout by myself honey well, i wonder what's in those lettuce wraps though they never said are they vegan <laughs> that's all right though <laughs> right, that's, that's your my business. business that's right that's right that's yeah. my business. well now i'm right, telling everyone too. 
and these are actually on the menu already be yes they're making it so easy for us are you sure how do you know they sometimes places like to lie us. Yes. And the only one that actually needed to have any sort of a, a sub to it was these Brussels sprouts, the Kung Pao Brussels sprouts. Kung Pao. And it subbed out the oyster sauce for the vegetable sauce. The vegetable sauce. And wait, what was this one? The oh, Buddhist Feast. Also Buddhist naturally feast. vegan. Not all Buddhists are vegan. All right. Or vegetarian. Let's do yes. it. Shall we toast it up? Oh, yeah. Do. Here right. we go. Let's see. Mmm. Mm. Oh my, you have the same taste. I feel my freshman 15 coming right back to me. Honey, very good. Let's do that eggplant. This looks meaty. It does. Wow, that just melts in your mouth. Oh wow. It's got a little kick to it. I had to sit back on that one. Come on, eggplant, okay. <laughs> Cringy. Sorry. Amazing. How did they do that? It's the seasoning, mm -hmm. it's the texture, it's so, mmm. And these Brussels sprouts. I know, they've been talking to me too. Ooh, Kung Pao. Oh, oh. <laughs> told y'all Kung Pao, honey. <laughs> I really think if like, we had a group of friends and we, we just like ordered this for the table. Everybody would be good. Nobody would be like, where's the meat? I wanna know what your favorite was. Oh, so. All right, well, I'm done with this. Uh, yeah, uh, very, very cringy. They're craving meat, obviously. They got the Impossible Burgers, they had the cheeses, they had the stuff like that. And the eggplant was oddly, like, comforting to them in that it looked like meat. So vegans, once again, craving meat. I'm not convinced that veganism is the way to go. I'm still not convinced, and I never will be, because they're trying to replicate meat when it's already right in front of you when you go into the store and look in those coolers, you will find meat. So there's no point trying to replicate what is already here. No point trying to replicate cheese because it's already here. No point trying to replicate eggs because we already have real eggs. Why do we need to replicate it? If you're vegan, eat the gosh dang plants. If you are carnivore, eat your gosh dang meat. You don't see carnivores going, Ooh, I want something that tastes like cucumber, but that's meat. You don't see that. Or, I want something that tastes like chocolate, but that's meat. Uh, no, you don't see any of that. Anyway, that's it for me. Talk later. Bye!